Hello, and welcome to Vasily and Dimitri's Cooking Corner. Today we will be making a very famous Russian Pop-Tart. We know you guys have been waiting for this one. So, we'd like to present you with a very famous Russian Pop-Tart recipe. So, to start out with for our ingredients, we're going to start with Pop-Tarts, of course. Today we'll be using Wild Berry Pop-Tart. Then you're going to need a nice crumbly topping for your Pop-Tart. We use Heath Bits. It gives it an extra crunchiness. You will also need for a topping some Twix for some extra crunchiness. Oh, and how can we forget Thin Mints? Of course. This gives it some extra crunchiness. Now adding this heat topping not only adds additional chocolateiness, but also adds additional crunchiness. Vasily, wait! After all, this is a fruity pop tart. <laughs> <laughs> I always did enjoy your sense of humor, Dimitri. <laughs> oh, thank you, <laughs> Now, we cannot forget about the waffles. They no are... pop tart, Russian pop tart, that is, is complete without home-style chocolate chip frozen toaster waffles. Now, Vasily here will be demonstrating to us how we cook our Russian home-style frozen toaster dinner waffles. Yes, thank you for the introduction, Dimitri. Now, to begin with, you're going to want to take your waffles out of the package. Now, the toaster is a very dangerous invention, so be careful as you're putting your waffles in the toaster. Vasily, be careful. You're right. Now, you're going to want to put this on a fairly high setting. Um, I'd recommend the max setting for whatever model of toaster you're using. And if we're doing this right, it should come out in about one minute. One to two minutes. Stamattina mi sono alzato Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Stamattina mi sono alzato, mi ho trovato l'invasor. Da, these are looking like very good Russian pop tarts. I'd agree. I'd say these are complete. Yes. But Shall we tell them the next step? Of course, Vasily. But wait just a moment. Okay. We're forgetting one more thing. Our favorite, no Russian Pop-Tart is complete without Log Cabin Original Maple Syrup. Oh, how could I forget this, Dimitri? Of course. Would you like some? Yes. Well, now that these are complete, I think we need to do one more step. What is that? We need to post a picture on the instant uh, Twitter book. Oh, oh. I think you mean instant graham crackers. Oh, yes, yes. Ah. Very good. <laughs> that's, that's a good, good. picture. That yes. is very oh, good. Right. Let's see. Okay, and now time for the final step. Once you have added all your ingredients, it is time to go to the freezer. <laughs> Let's 
свете заглянул в соседний сад, Там шуглянка, молдаванка, собирает. Do you think they're frozen yet? I don't think so. What do you say we go out and enjoy Russian weather? Da, I like that idea. Let's go. Hello, and welcome to Quick Tips with Vasily and Dimitri. Today I will be showing you how to dig up uranium. You see, I have been doing this for all my life. Why, back in the war, <laughs> I was the man to go to for digging uranium up. You sure about this, Dimitri? Oh, I'm very sure. I'm a professional at this. Okay. Now, what you will want to do is you will want to get a plain shovel, just any shovel. And you can actually tell that in the ground, right here at this spot, uranium is hiding. Dimitri, so, oh, wait, be careful. I will. Thank you. So, it's all in the wrist. You're just gonna wanna take the shovel and put it right. Okay, so now, Russian pop tarts should be finished cooling. Let's have a look. Da, ah, these look like beautiful Russian pop tarts. Okay, now it is time for us to eat the Russian pop tarts. <laughs> yes, yeah, so and you get a nice crunch in there too. I feel a, a sugar rushing through my veins. Me too, Dimitri. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I highly recommend you try this at home, folks. Mm. Oh, man. Are you okay, Dimitri? <laughs> <laughs> what? Dimitri, Dimitri. Be careful. Dimitri, that gummy. 